It is chilly. It is brisk here, but that's not stopping history from repeating itself. Boom Supersonics demonstrator aircraft XB-1 took to the skies in a test flight like none other in the company's quest to bring back supersonic commercial flights. Just across the way from a rather unsettling aircraft scene, Boom Supersonics XB-1 is exploring new heights and speeds. The demonstrator aircraft for the highly anticipated overture broke the sound barrier for the first time on Tuesday. There we are. But to the surprise of many, that wasn't the only attempt. Not once, not twice, but three times reaching supersonic speeds. We are now <laughs> supersonic three times on this flight, um, which is quite uh, unbelievable. And for the pilot who's gone supersonic before, this was also a first. Uh, I'd been to .95 before, so I, I knew what to expect at .95 but I'd never seen 0 0.96 or 0 0.97, so this was the first time I was accelerating, uh, accelerating beyond that, so just really listening to what the airplane is telling me. Every airplane kind of has the thing that they're, they're designed for. XB-1 was designed to fly supersonic, and so when they're at the, at the design point, the flight controls respond better, the, uh, it, it, everything everything just feels better. The pitch and the roll was just really smooth, really predictable. It had been pretty good up to this point, but it was it was the best I've ever seen seen her at uh, at 1.1. XB1 is paving the way for Boom to usher back supersonic commercial travel after Concorde, which retired over two decades ago. Despite a set of multiple challenges, today's milestone represents the company's commitment, as it's one step closer to achieving its goal. Everybody wants a supersonic flight. And um, it's, it's not easy, but it is possible. And uh, if we gather, uh, gather just the very best people in the world, um, we can do it. And Boom said it will apply the learnings from the XB-1 test flights to the highly anticipated Overture, which now has over 130 orders from three airlines. The aircraft will be produced at a facility in Greensboro, North Carolina. I'm Channing Reed reporting.